So I want to apply Rice's theorem to this language, which is called ETM, which is called the FTNS for Turing machines problem. And here we have a set of descriptions of Turing machines, such that M is a Turing machine, obviously, and the language of that machine is empty. And the ETM problem is to ask, given an arbitrary Turing machine, is it in this set right here? Is it one of these Turing machines? And famously, it's an undecidable problem because we can just reduce from the acceptance problem for Turing machines. What I want to do here is to apply Rice's theorem to this language to get a much easier proof. So how do you apply Rice's theorem? You have to show that this language is a non-trivial property of Turing machine languages. So what do we do here? We need to show that it's non-trivial and it's a property of Turing machine languages. So to show that it's non-trivial, all that you need to do is to find some Turing machine that's in there and another Turing machine that is not in here. Namely, I gotta find a Turing machine whose language is empty and another Turing machine whose language is not empty because we're dealing with the emptiness for Turing machines problem. So what's an example of a Turing machine that's in there? Well, let's consider a machine I'm gonna call M1 whose language is going to be empty because it has to be in there because I assume that it's in there. So one thing that we can do is to just reject on every single string that is given. So I can make the start state of this Turing machine the rejecting state and I need the accept state somewhere and I'm just going to put it over here not connected at all. And then therefore, since the machine starts here, therefore every single string is going to be rejected. And so therefore, M1, the description of it, is in ETM. If we do the exact opposite scenario, where we make the accept state, the start state and the reject state over here not connected at all, then this M2 machine will accept every single string. And then therefore, its language is sigma star, so it accepts everything. And then therefore, M2 is not in ETM. I could have picked any machine that I wanted. It doesn't have to be this specific one, but it's a good idea to pick something that's very, very easy to deal with. So therefore, this property called ETM is non-trivial. Well, how do we show us a property of Turing machine languages? Well, that means it's not based on the description itself. Namely, it's only based on the language, and it looks like that to be here, but we need to be sure. So this says that for any two Turing machines, so any two Turing machines, I'm gonna call them, normally when I used to teach this, I call them M1 and M2. I'm gonna call them different because I used M1 and M2 upstairs. So I'm gonna call them X1, X2. So these are any two Turing machines with identically the same language. So I'm going to assume that they have the exact same language. Is it possible that if they have the same language, that one of them has empty language and the other one does not have empty language? Well, that's clearly impossible because we assumed that they're the same. So therefore, we have that both are empty or both are not empty. And then therefore, this is a property of Turing machine languages. And since we showed it was non-trivial before, and that it's a property of Turing machine languages, by Rice's theorem, this language is undecidable. And so therefore, that is a quick way of showing that ETM is undecidable via Rice's theorem.